TigerHealthTrend.com. Um, how do things sort of come so naturally for you uh, in your first year and what you've done? Um, I want to give big credit to uh, my high school, uh, Central High School, um, my D-line coach, uh, Coach Adrian Lyles, and my head coach, Coach Patrick Nix. They did a good job of preparing me, uh, installing Installing in me early on as a 10th grader let me know, like, if you want to play big time ball, you got to prepare yourself way before the time comes. So uh, since high school, I've been preparing myself mentally and physically, uh, doing what I got to do, doing extra with that stand after, uh, going in before, just training my craft, working my craft, and just trying to stay grounded, you know what I'm saying, always trying to improve. So I think they, they set a good foundation for me. And then when I got here in January, it's been a smooth sailing. So. Um, Jerry Richard with Clinton Sports Media. <coughs> Were there any nerves going on when you first got out there? You had two great hurries. Um, so what were the nerves like when you first got on the field? Uh, I don't think I had any nerves. Uh, more more anxious to get out there. Um, you know, well, I was well prepared. You know, Coach uh, Ski, he did a good job of uh, helping us prepare. And the more, you know, so I stayed ready in, uh, in my playbook, um, it just came natural. So I, I kind of knew what to do. So the nerves was out of there. Um, so it was just, you know what I'm saying, me being excited to play. Beth Poole from Fox Carolina in Greenville. Um, obviously not the start anybody expected to this season. Um, how impressed are you with the way that Clemson, the, the standard and the response after a loss is? I, I see a lot of promise. Um, everybody, we kind of took in the loss, um, give credit to Duke. They came out and they balled out. Um, you know, But obviously we've seen this as an um, a opportunity to get better. Um, everybody kind of, we're, we're buying in, continue to buy in. Um, seniors talk to us, uh, guys like Mask on XT, you know what I'm saying? We had a group chat, had a talk, and saying that if we're going to continue to make this season better, we got to lock in more, do the extra. Uh, so we all we all had a self-awareness check after the game, and uh, we're going to continue to do good. Uh, John Wild with the post and I guess just to catch up on how you got here. You were originally committed to Penn State. Uh, Clemson was my first ever visit, um, so like I always fell in love with it. So you know, coming from Central High School, you know guys like Justin Ross, EJ Williams, Ray Thorne, they all came here, and, and my biggest thing was like, why y'all choose Clemson over Alabama, Auburn, you know, what I'm saying Georgia, other schools that surrounded area in SEC country. Well, I finally got to take a visit here, and I understood why uh, they came here. It's more than football here, you know. Coach Sweeney does a great job of instilling um, that football is only going to last you so long, you know, what I'm saying because the NFL. You might be 35, you're considered old in the league, but you still got years left of your life. So uh, he installed making sure that we get that foundation of how to live life outside of football and also, you know saying, take care of your business. So it kind of drew me when I was young. And, and as I got older, it makes me realize they care about, you know saying, me more than uh, anything else. So. Uh, yeah, they, so they, Clemson, you know, their policy is once you committed, they don't really bother you, you know, but you know, guys like Peter and uh, CV and, you know, the guys that are here, they, they was in my ear about it. And I told them, like, man, I'm not even offered by you guys. But the moment I, I you know, so I get it, you know, you know how it goes. I'm coming. So uh, some things didn't work out. I decommitted. And the first person to hit me up was, was CV and Peter. So I, I told them from the jump, but I'm coming here. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, I'm, I'm coming all the way. I'm committed. So, you know, that's how I came about. And now I'm here. What was the message that CV sent you? CV, so it was it was a chain reaction. So I de I was on I was on the call with whoever, you know, what I'm saying once the news broke out that I decommitted, um, CV, Peter, and a few other guys on the team, they hit me up with the eyes emoji on Instagram. And it was like, you know what time it is. So I, I texted Coach uh, Ski uh, the eyes emoji. The same thing they texted me, you know. And uh, from there, you know, we got in contact. And a few days later, they offered, and from then I was committed. So. I'm sure you were, during the spring, you were probably swimming some mentally. Uh, when did things start to click for you, and what's the hardest part about adjusting as a defensive end to the college responsibilities? Uh, in the spring, I was, I was definitely, everything was roaming through my mind. Everything was, you know, as you transition to bigger leagues, you know, everything speeds up. Um, I knew the playbook, but I, I really didn't uh, trust my own instinct at the time. So Coach Ski really helped me slow down, tell me to take a breather, like, you know, you're still young. Um, so during this off season, I really uh, keyed into the playbook, uh, just got into it, you know what I'm saying, make it my uh, everyday schedule to just walk through the play so I can see it visually um, to allow me to slow it down. So now that I'm, 
I got a spring under my belt going into fall camp. I had it mentally in my mind, like, okay, I know the playbook. I'm not second guessing. I can just go out there and play now. So um, everything became much slower, and uh, the transition it wasn't it wasn't too hard, but it was, it was enough to, to make me realize like this ain't high school no more. Frank. <laughs> oh, most definitely. It's a big advantage. I was going to have that you had a wrist injury in high school, so that made it a little harder against the developed upper body initially. So I guess what injury did you have? Uh, I think I, I think I had a bone contusion in my wrist in high school. It never really like healed right. I really didn't take it too serious because it didn't hurt at first, but I eventually got over time. I'm, I'm fully healed now. I'm good to go to play. So. Uh, D Love helped a lot, man. Cause when I first got here, it was hard for me to bench press because of my wrist, and he introduced me to wrist exercises and things like that. So I went from, I think right now my max is like 335. Uh, when I come, when I came in, it was hard for me to bench 135 because it was, I, I ain't benching over a year because uh, of my wrist. But now I'm up to a point where I, I can bench a lot of weight and uh, no pain. So. Scott in spite of your good prep in high school, do you find yourself now a little surprised that you had such a prominent role right off the bat here? Um, or not? I'm, you know, I, I knew the situation coming in, but my, in my mind, you know, uh, how I'm thinking, I'm going to come in and work regardless. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to contribute to the team however I can. You know, uh, my role wasn't coming in, uh, oh, I'm going to be a starter or nothing like that. It was never that. My, my initial thoughts is if, if coach wants me to play, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep working to play, you know what I'm saying? However that goes, but, you know, it's my freshman year, so I'm just trying to enjoy it and work hard and then, you know, contribute however I can, whether that's defense or special teams, so. We heard a lot about Peter Woods during the spring. Do you think that Peter Woods coming into the fall, what makes him such a special player? What's it like being a teammate to him? That's my guy, man. Uh, just from high school, man, he's been, he been everything everybody advertised him as. It's been going on since high school. I know him since 10th grade, and he's been doing special things since, you know. Um, he's really about his work, you know. He comes and we go in every day. Even, like, what people don't see, we go in the off season. Uh, he takes it serious, you know what I'm saying. He's a natural leader. Um, doesn't really take a, a seat back to anybody, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to leading. It just naturally comes out of him. So you you can tell when you're in a room with him, you can tell he has that dog mentality. Uh, you know, he comes to work. He don't shy away from competition at all. Uh, and we motivate each other to work good every day, so it's my guy. Yeah, he he came in crazy. He's he's gotten even stronger than he has before he got here, and he was strong already. Um, Four seventy five. That's that's a great estimate. I think it's a little more than that. Uh, I think so. I've seen. I think I've been, seen him bench more than that. But you know, uh, you can always bench it again. So. Questions for TJ from Zoom? Anybody else in the room? All right. Thanks, TJ. Thank you, guys.